The world has been locked up for a while and it's time for us to get out there. The mountains have a special place in our hearts. The first thing you see when you drive into the valley are the big abstract rock formations. My name is Jean Berger. For work I am a jeweler and a diamond setter. My name is Jean-Jacques Wallace. I'm a professional skydiver, filmmaker, and bass jumper. The best part about this place is the feeling of being out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nature. With the crew tent in Kuala Amix, the camp was set up in no time. My name is Stefan van Sale. For work, I'm a filmmaker. I professionally fly drones for a living. The Kuala Hammock is easy to put up in any spot. It is great for all outdoor adventures and wild places. After a long day of exploring and playing in the mountains, there's nothing better relaxing and enjoying the serenity of the outdoors. The total height of the mountain is about 419 meters. Setting up the Highland was quite a technical thing to do. Um, setting it up in the heat of the day, we managed to rig it up safely and securely. Bring it. The High Line Gap was 45 meters wide. It had about 50 meters underneath it, and we were right on the edge of 150 meter high cliffs. Beautiful morning. I always wanted to base jump because the thrill of the heights and it's that freedom that you get when the parachute opens and flying down and landing. The hike up to the jump was quite difficult. The terrain is a little bit unforgiving and there's no trail. And especially with me, I've got a prosthetic leg. It was uh, quite a challenge for me. I think I was more scared to hike up than to jump off the cliff. Before a base jump, I feel like very nervous. But jumping, standing on the edge, you feel a bit, you have to feel confidence to do it and to be safe. And when the parachute opens, it feels like you achieved something really good. And the landing and the celebrating thing, it's so cool. Top of the world! <laughs> it's something really powerful. Nice one, boys! I feel I can accomplish anything in the world. Before a base jump, I do feel nervous. Um, there is a lot going on before you have to make that uh, leap of faith. I base jump because it gives me ultimate freedom. I think once you've learned to, to do this sport, it lets you appreciate a lot of other things in life. It was definitely very intimidating being out there on the high line. The feeling of having nothing underneath your feet, floating in the middle of space, definitely gives you a big adrenaline. I found it was very easy to set up our hammock. Um, there's a simple carabiner we had to clip on and it could pull out and clip to the other side very easily. Sitting in the hammock on the high line was definitely a peaceful feeling. Um, it was very nice up there. Um, I did enjoy it. It was relaxed. Um, once we got all the all the rigging done and all the safety equipment off and we could finally just sit in there and take a moment. It was quite nice. 10 second count.
Base jumping definitely makes me feel alive, it makes me feel like there is something more to life. It's definitely a challenge to set up a high line with a hammock on it and then perform a jump out of the hammock is definitely a very stimulating experience. Yeah. Yo buddy. The boys did such an amazing job and the stoke was super high after. Yeah, was that Woo. challenging? Oh. Yo. <laughs> Sweet. After a base jump there is definitely a lot of stoke, um, a lot of adrenaline flowing, there is lots of excitement. We had a really good camp set up and our landing area was super good. Flying the parachute down to Camp Kruer is a unique experience that I would never forget. It's epic moments like these with great friends and beautiful places that make life worth living.